hello there cancer welcome into the channel this is sage sunset healing tarot i'm about to do a quick love reading for cancer the sign sun moon rising and venus so welcome in cancer and thank you for being here and i do hope you're doing well i really do appreciate you hitting the like button and i appreciate you sharing the video and sub being a subscriber here so if you are not yet subscribed do hit the subscribe button and thank you so much Oh, okay. <clears throat> so I'm feeling like this could be a soulmate vibration. I see here. I feel like it could be going down between two different energies or two people for you. Cancer, a Pisces who feels like a descendant or a descended or the elderly one the most prominent force here in the midst of this love connection could be this king of cups vibration here or is it mostly it's mostly um represented by the hangman card i see here this person is not rushing in they see you they feel you they know you they want you they desire you they're focused on their intention even lustfully is to attract you is to intertwine is to almost like them being the light and they want you to step into their light <laughs> that is a pisces energy with the moon okay so this person wants your part of their world like that um so it's like they're open this love then I see earth sign who feels more like in the background earth sign energy um, Capricorn Virgo Taurus and this person feels like they're more working toward you like they'll take more action they'll do more things in the material to attain you while the Piscean or water sign will work more in the emotion and the spirits to achieve you maybe the Pisces and the water sign for some of you this is your future love who hasn't arrived yet and um for, for um for some of you it may be a love that you've uh, you've experienced before and you want back or it's something that's really fresh coming into your experience with the two of cups energy it could be the water sign is your soul mate but I feel like both of these people could be soulmate vibration. It's just that the water sign here, King of Cups or Pisces energy, whether that's Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, they could be more relatable to you on an emotional sense. Okay, so one is going to put out more effort. We can see the action. You can see the physical things they do. Maybe they buy you gifts and so on and so forth. Um, like with Earth sign, they like to work. They're always out um to prove something in the material, um to show you. But this person is not connected, maybe emotionally. But it's not that they love you less. This person can also. Just be a love that you have um, at, attached. This person could really love you for real. They love a side of you that reflects them. A side of you that um, something about work as well. Uh, our traditions. I'm getting the energy of farming and home cooked meal. Traditional feelings. I feel like this is what this person loves about you. Like They'll be able to go out for a whole day uh, hard at work. And come back around and the food would be cooked if you're female if you're male this this female likes um the masculine to go out work you know make the money and all of that that's what is important material stuff so it's not like there isn't love now this energy that i'm describing with the earth sign it's someone like i say is in the more in the background in your past but their energy is still relevant or present president <laughs> or present or evident um, for you, it's like they they're not giving up on something. Like they still want to prove something. They're working their way up to prove something in the material, uh, maybe for you or with you in mind. Okay, they want something to multiply. Look, the Queen of Cups wants to come out because I feel like she wants to hear what's going on. It's the energy of the wife that comes in the room upon a serious discussion because she, she's like, okay, this is interesting. What are you guys talking about? That's the energy Queen of Cups just came in with. 
so something is intriguing here um so that could be your energy as you come into this reading just no more focused um so let's continue for you so the water sign now is not very materially focused it's spiritual is this person is about healing especially when it comes to psyche the psyche this person is dealing in the psyche um this person may be connecting with you in dream space through telepathic messages just sending you a connection this person um connection with you through various means even some in in underground like vibration i don't know what that means but i just feel like earthquake vibration like sending you vibration through the earth i don't i'm not sure maybe in your body i'm not sure um this person um is like a lighthouse in some way shape or form they it's that energy of them being a lighthouse calling out to you hey hey this energy feels like this person is standing as if they do it for you they live for you in a sense you know they're not really focused it's not that they're they're focused their entire life upon you unlike this earth person who is like their intention is to prove something to you this water energy here with the Piscean vibration the hangman energy is more like this person they're busy doing other things I would like to find a way to describe this character they have other mission but it's like their main mission is like they're always going to be there for you it's like a lighthouse that's standing in the midst of the ocean they always leave a, a space open a light shining so that you can find your way back to them that's in the beginning i was saying this person wants you to come into their light so they're always open but they're they're also focusing on other things they have other things to other work this person is a mystic mm -hmm. this fire this water sign here this person is a mystic they um i'm getting martial arts vibration and i just heard chemist so this person could be a chemist and um, works with water healing medicine stuff like that moon energy the ocean yeah this person in, uh, in their psyche too like i say so remember when it was so water energy is like memory and feelings as well emotion so this person is i feel at this time dealing with a lot of thoughts putting things together it could be just the season that they're in it's just time for them to be at work but it's but they always have this light open for you i'm getting the energy of um them ensuring that the glass is clear like i'm getting a glass that would be foggy like they don't clean the glass except that the light shines through for you so maybe this person only cares about appearance and staying in the physical world and the material world and all of that and and presenting and being out here just this spicy and water sign just so that you can um know that they're still here this person feels like a hermit energy even though it's water sign it could be someone that uh, um um is influenced by virgo energy the, the love vibration yeah is, is that's the way they work this person seems like a loner who would in fact live feels like a person that would live in a lighthouse or just a place on their own working with the elements with the times with the season as if they're working on something huge it's like magician energy as if they're working on the next big thing you know what i mean but they're, they're they want you to return it's almost like you're the mo mermaid the mermaid who left and this person is waiting just to hear from you knowing probably hoping that you will turn up again but it's not that their life depends up on it but they always have a space in their heart for you um so i feel like that's what i have for this for that love reading anything else i feel like that's that it feels like you know both of you are one of you went through heartbreak and there isn't any connection a bit it's like two people that want to connect but you both have dif different things focused up on that's maybe preventing the connection maybe preventing you from making a step taking action um maybe these um these preventions or whatever is blocking this connection is intentions it is intentional you know maybe some you're some people one or the both of you are properly ready i don't know but i'm getting the oh you <laughs> see the five of cups says the five of hearts is you 
So it could be you, Cancer, and that's not ready for this connection. And I'm seeing strongly that this is possibly a connection with a water sign. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, look at that. The Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So we have, this is true love. This is the follow your heart card. This is the energy of making things work, being in, um, taking action. It's not just taking action, but enjoying the, the selection. You know, it's like going through life. You know, there are things that you're not going to like and things that you like, especially in love or whatever this journey of love is that you're experiencing now. I want you to focus upon the bits that you do love, the bits that you do enjoy and, 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 and multiply those. Just, just enjoy those bits. At this point, I want you to ignore the other seven cups, which is what the eight of cups is saying, you know. Ignore these seven cups, which is everything else that you're not enjoying. And the things that you choose, which is the eighth cup, the things that you choose to fill your own cup with, that eight cup, just enjoy those and watch those multiply. So you're living life, experiencing just what you want. This is the eighth vibration energy. Okay, you're not you're not um going going through the you know it's like you're not experiencing the negatives, you're more experiencing the positives. So even when so-called negative situation comes around, you're actually even turning alchemizing because the eight energy is the work, the action, the procedures right so you're turning you're making everything work in your favor something like that so look out for messages as well whatever it is that's coming in that seems like it's pointing you toward love even if it is love with yourself because that is the ultimate key here because we have the ace of cups on the bottom the ace of heart which is an overflow of love this is innate love and i'm this wants to come up the ace of wands something new new feelings heart of fire someone that wants to be one with you or you just wanting to share yourself i can feel that like a burning desire to give to someone else so maybe this means that the person is already here but pay attention to how it's almost like patience not just patience but i don't know follow your heart trust the feeling this is true love focus more on what you want the good feelings Put more on your plate of what more of what you want on your plate or in your cup focus more on that and i feel like that would bring you closer into alignment with the with attracting the person that's going to give you these things because remember you have to be what you want to attract what you want you know you attract what you are so the more you fill your own cup with the eighth of hearts vibration Keep loving on you, you know, even being your own soulmate. It's almost like energetically your soulmate is already here. So they have no choice but to show up physically. I wonder if you're getting what I'm saying. So for some of you, this person has already manifested in physical and is here and in, on their own journey to get to you because you're attracting them, they're attracting you. And your soulmates, look, these are all hearts here. This is, uh, this is not coincidence, you know. But it's also telling me about a past feeling, like the energy of love that you used to experience in the past, you need to walk away from that, or you're about to walk away from that. So it's really you. And it's, it, this, this you is talking about masculine and feminine. It's really you that's holding yourself back from connecting with this beautiful love. Like, just release the experiences of past love and be open for a new feeling yes this this is what the ace of wands wants to say something you've experienced before and create that love in you first so you have to know what you want you can't just say oh he's not showing up or she's not showing up it's maybe because you what you, are you showing up Who, what are you attracting what do you want so this emotion that you have that you want to share i want you to imagine create the person that you want to share it with and be happy with that feeling. It sounds strange. But just keep filling the cup. You know, filling your own cup. Following in your own heart. And I feel it's going to lead you into this person. There's also, I feel someone wants to come back around from your past. So it could be the Pisces energy hangman. But it, I don't feel like that. I feel like the Pisces energy just wanted to stay here. It wants to remain I feel like Pisces may decide to speak up. I don't know. 
someone may decide to use to speak up. Uh, message. Oh my God. See, the two of pentacles is receiving a message or sending a message. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ace of Wands. Someone is like someone wants to pour their heart out. Star card Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Healing hopes. It's almost like restoration. Maybe the mess. What they're coming to tell you is about what they've lost. That they feel like they lost you, or they feel alone without you. Or they just have a lot to say to you. Maybe this is a person that has a lot on their heart. Like a lot of these burning desires. Like they just want to explode and to be one with someone else. And I feel like that could feel like, um, mean they're not really connecting with themselves. I feel like it's important. Especially when you feel lonely. You just want someone else. It's almost like you're trying to escape your own self. I right, can sir. At this point, if you find the messages resonating with you, do hit the like button appreciate it if you have not yet really appreciate that thank you it's almost like this person is coming around they feel guilty or something in that energy like they're gonna come around with their head kind of down their energy low because they know they've been wrong they're also hurt and sad and drained and lost of energy and light is that energy of someone coming around on Christmas to the house where there's a lot of light in this house and they miss their family and they feel like they miss this loving connection, okay? Yeah, it's the energy of a father coming back to his house or whatever, a man coming back around to his family realizing he really does miss his family. He looks sad. And so this person wants to come around. I feel like just someone standing and looking at, um, through the window at a family. They look sad and they're seeing, witnessing happiness happening. And they feel like they are without that light. You know? So it's like maybe this person is going to send you a message of well wishes or hopes or apology. Or we're trying to restore something. Trying to restore something. This could be a person from your past who is turning up as a water sign here. But maybe not. Maybe they're just feeling in their emotions right now. This could be anyone. Earth sign, air sign, fire sign, water sign. Okay. Could just that be, be that they're just hurt and they feel like it is hard not having you with the nine of swords. Yeah. They're trying to dream again. To have a new vision or something. Maybe they're trying with you. But they do have something to say in this message. But I feel like... um. The more we talk about this person, the stronger they get in your energies. The more we welcome the past back in to hear what they have to say, so on and so forth. So this person is like looking for that, for you to be open. And if you're open to this past love, like this, but I feel like this this new love vibration is is taking its place. It's the energy of a person deciding, you no, know, like I'm going to speak up and show this person that I am actually interested. Because they feel maybe weary that you may go back to your past. You know what I mean? But not that you may go back. But they just want to step in. This is of sort of standing out. This is what this person wants. They want you to move on. But they don't want to be the cause for you to move on. But they're thinking, no, like, listen, I'm going to step in and stand here. They want to be here for you. It's like I'm saying with this lighthouse energy. They want to always have this light. They want you to know that they're always here. Like this person could have been a friend you've had for a long time and so on and so forth. Okay. Someone is making efforts. Oh no, the strength card. A separation or moving toward or following in your heart space or connecting. If yeah, someone is trusting something, that answer that they've been seeking or praying or hoping about or maybe not disappointing or connecting with someone or something or moving from away or wanting to something, revisit the past, heal the past, something like that. It's like, ugh, Jesus, it's like this energy feels like this person, they didn't, they were in denial about how they truly feel. It's like moving on from someone. And then not visiting the broken heart and 
and the sadness but while you're with another person you're now thinking oh my god this I, my heart i never healed my heart with this previous person are are just looking back at the situation for example i don't know why they're doing that it's, it's almost like they really can't love this new person because they didn't have clarity or um about what happened in the past about the sadness mm -hmm. something is about to change um something is about to change in that has been working on what is it and i don't it, it's i feel like it's coming from the other person's side i don't know what that means it's coming from the other person's side something is about to change a move is about to be made maybe toward you cancer or are or, or the other person's person is deciding to change your person's person something like that valor and i see valor victory success i'm moving visualizing dreaming hoping to move forward make this decision destination following in their heart space uh, this person has anxiety too and has trust issues as much as they are the king they're composed but they still have feelings it's like cold feet <laughs> um but yeah i think these these have been good messages you know i feel like there's still a, a thing that i haven't cleared up really with this pisces energy the way it came back out as if to say no is the energy of it not wanting you to to feel like there isn't any stability or you don't have a friend or someone else that's interested in you except your past so i'm trying to get it Okay. also use your intuition about this person coming back around to you with the Pisces, the hangman energy use your intuition your discernment your gut feeling trust the feelings as they will send you a message okay trying to feel good or balanced or something like that with themselves the nine of pentacles self-empowerment yeah, something about self empower. It's like if you like you've moved on, so become empowered and true, and radiate that. Don't be weak. It ain't time for that. It ain't time for that. Mm -mm. It's like yeah. All right. So leaving these messages here. Uh, if let's recap. Recap. We have the two of cups, which is soulmate vibration. The ace of cups, which is abundance. Of love like abundance like innate love so both parties have innate an innate source of love within them divinely connected just be patient there's I feel like with the Queen of Swords I saw the King of Swords too there's just some more work to do energetically so that you can both like drop this curtain that's covering your light so they can't see each other you know what I mean? It's just a little, a little bit more tweaking. I feel it could have to do with your your self empowerment, your feelings of self empowerment, and how you burn off the past off of you, how you stand up for yourself, how you represent, how you dream again and create the new. Okay, you need to dream again from here on forward. About it's like re visualizing. Okay, daydreaming, hoping, creating the new because the two of ones is dream again. Don't give up wherever you are. You can create what you want from there. Even this beautiful person. And you should know that because I feel like there's a person that's really meant for you. Who is becoming for you. Okay, or is he or has already become. And then we have eyes full of stars with the nine of pentacles. It's like daydreamer energy for me. It's like filling your eyes up. Your eyes are like water and you're dreaming with the stars. Visualizing all that you want. Especially in love. Especially with another person. You're like bringing another person into your own world with your feelings. Good feelings. Alright, so much love to you. I do hope you found these messages helpful. Leaving these messages here for you. The Ace of Swords is truth. Speaking truth, get to the point, speak clarity. All right, so maybe some of you need to speak up. Ask what you want. Be clear about what it is that you want. Write down what you're asking for just so you can see it. All that the, the things that you want to manifest. I remember just sharing this with you. Let me see how much time. 
26 minutes my goodness but i remember when i actually manifested someone just by writing and 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 detailing what i want and i got i'm going to have to share that story with you in another time but it was amazing to me so do that and see what happens so you your mind has an idea of what will make you happy in a person and that will bring you closer to the energy to experiencing the energy okay that's what's important all right much love to you on your way out do hit the like button share comment subscribe i love having you a part of this journey with me really 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 do really grateful thank you so much for all of you who support who donate who contribute thank you so much to you beautiful souls who've donated to my house it's in progress i really appreciate that words can't explain because we're just going to explain much love and gratitude. All the best to you. May all your dreams be realized by you. And I'll see you in the next reading, Cancer. Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world you desire. Because you're all and all is within you. Bye. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs, like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium-grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com.